So, um, Oyan, thank you so much for a great presentation. We all really enjoyed it. Um, with our group, so we were discussing the value, uh, perception, and strategic positioning influence your pricing strategy. We had Campbell, uh, Brian Fine, Alexander, Mo. <coughs> Uh, and Martin, I think I don't think I've missed anybody. We had a really great discussion, really uh, rich discussion. So thank you everyone for, for joining our group. Um, we were speaking around um, understanding, really understanding our client's profile and really what they're looking for when we're coming. So price is obviously important. We need to be competitive in the market, but really understanding who is our client avatar and Campbell was talking about the two different clients that, that, that he has. So he's got the client as in the individual buyer and then also a wholesaling model. So he's got two, two models that he needs to really work towards and understanding what is the avatar, understanding what they're really wanting to achieve and understand from buying or purchasing or de being, being delivered your product. Um, we had Brian was talking a little bit about choice modeling, which was quite interesting around some research that he can do to really understand at what exact price um, in which people will buy your product over competitors. Um, and Alexander was talking about, you know, sometimes when you're going in with a certain price point, if you do position yourself too low, the consumer will assume that the quality is less than or it, it just kind of it, it builds up that the lack of credibility sometimes with, with going at a lower price point. Um, Mo works in the recruitment space and he was talking about um, he does a lot of staffing recruitment offshore um, and how that can kind of really help in terms of value and costing and 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 that kind of goes hand in glove there. Um, but Martin said a, a quite an important point that I just wanted to, to raise at the end. Um, so you can, as an organization or an individual, you can invent something, right? Or you can bring something to the table. Um, but then eventually your competitors are going to catch on to that if it, if it sells quite well. Um, so how can you kind of keep your value and your pricing at bay when others will jump on board to the road as well? So no, thank you. It was a really good discussion.